So far, we've been working with built-in data sets in R. For example, remember that we can load the MT cars data set by doing data of MT cars. R comes with dozens of useful data sets like this, and they're great for learning and practicing. But of course, whatever data you're actually interested in, chances are it's probably not already built into R. So how can you read your own data into R? Let's start by downloading some data and reading it in. We're going to be working with a data set about baseball, specifically the 2013 version of Sean Lamon's Baseball Archive. The statistical analysis of baseball is called Sabermetrics and has a rich and fascinating history. This data set alone can be used to explore lots of extraordinary trends. Don't worry if you're not a fan of baseball, or even if you know nothing about it. We're just using it as an example of data manipulation. I'll explain everything as we go along, and you'll have just as much fun as anyone. So the URL for this page, which should be provided to you, can be found at http dgrtwo.github.io slash pages slash lamin, L-A-H-M-A-N, slash salaries dot csv. So take this URL and put it into your favorite web browser. At this point, you can see the comma-separated values in the file. Let's save it to our computer, and particularly save it to wherever you were working. So put it, put it in whatever folder you're working. Make sure it's saved as a CSV file. So now that we go back here, we should have the salaries.csv file downloaded from this URL in our directory. So let's look at the contents of it a little more closely. This is called a CSV or common separated value format. It contains one header row and then one or more rows that each contain multiple fields separated by commas. This is one of the most common formats data is uh, shared in. If you, for instance, if you have an Excel spreadsheet, note that you can save it into CSV format like this. You can read a CSV file into R easily with the line, save it as salaries equals read.csv, parentheses, quote, then the name of your file, salaries.csv, end quote. Let's just run just this line. So what happened is this read in the CSV file as a data frame. You can tell by doing view salaries. So now this data is in R. You see that it got the column names right and has one row for each line in the file. So this data is organized into rows, run one row per player per year. You can see here, this is year, Here's an ID representing the player, and here's the salary in dollars. You can also see the team that the player was playing on here, and the league, either American League or National League, that, that team plays in. I had you download the file just so we could look at it, but note that you don't actually have to download it at all. R can read a CSV file directly from the internet if you give it the URL. So take that URL we had, here and say salaries equals read.csv and then in quotes the URL. Now run just this line. When it downloaded the file, read it in, and still saved it into the same data frame. Now this was an easy way to read this standard CSV file, but what if you didn't have a header row, or what if your file was separated by spaces, or by tabs instead of by commas? Well, take a look at the help page for read.csv. Help, read.csv. See here that there are multiple functions that work just like read.csv that each take a different set of defaults and options. For example, if you didn't want, if you want to have a header, you would change the header option. You could do salaries read.csv and then say header equals false. If you wanted them to be separated by spaces instead of commas, you would do sep equals space. Tell it how the fields are divided. So don't do that in this case. 
One thing you'll see is that R also provides a read.table function whose defaults are based on this, space separation, no header. So by choosing the right function and choosing the right settings, you can read in almost any kind of uh, row, column, organized file. R can't read everything, but for the majority of cases, if your data was prepared responsibly and you set these simple options correctly, you can use the read.csv and read.table functions to import whatever data you need.